Welcome back to a seasonal Sussex Farms for episode 6 with me, Mr. Zeely P. I'm at a crossroads, and not metaphorically either, I'm actually at a crossroads. Um, I've decided to wheel out the big guns, um, we've got some work to do. Thank you for all the comments on yesterday's video. Um, I just want to point out, and it's just, it's not me complaining, just sometimes it's just fun to play the game. Just play it, just have fun. It doesn't matter about the rights and wrongs, it doesn't matter about how it would be done in the real world, it doesn't, sometimes you just want to play. And I think yesterday's episode, it snowed, I was feeling festive, it's the day before Christmas Eve, I was just thought, you know what, I know lots of people have done videos, massive shout out to DJ Goham as usual, has been um, having a play around with showing the different snowblowers and also with trailers, um, covered, uncovered, all those kind of things. Um, and there are a few different videos out. I just wanted to have a play around with stuff, you know. A lot of what I do comes from my background in teaching, uh, in that, yes, a lot of times I absolutely know what I'm doing. I do know what I'm doing. Sometimes I don't, absolutely I don't, but sometimes I do. But to help teach other people, I found over the years that if people feel they're coming on a journey with you and they're learning with you, which a lot of times they are, it helps people to feel better about themselves about how they're learning about there's nothing worse than somebody saying look at me I'm awesome it's kind of arrogant you know I know everything you don't watch this and this is how you learn I just think that's wrong I don't I don't you know so sometimes I just just play just have fun don't worry about it just have a laugh but that being said yeah the people that said about using this the NMC snowblower thank you very much for the comments and the information thank you to everyone who's been wishing me a Merry Christmas to me and my family already from me and my mine to you and yours have a wonderful Christmas um, I think I've said it before whether you celebrate Christmas or not whether you're religious or not whether you treat it more as a traditional thing than a religious thing uh, maybe you're you, you've done Hanukkah maybe you you know Thanksgiving all those th different things leading up to this holiday period however you celebrate have a fantastic time with family and friends we are off to do something and neighborly we're going to go and help out old man leonard um, because the approach up to his cabin is snowed in uh, we've got snow forecast again the snow has stopped but it is forecast again i think i'm going to go this way um now we are in a class we are in a class axiom but because of the weather I've gone for this one. I thought the tracks might help. Plus, we wanted a bit more oomph. Now, I know, uh, obviously, with seasons on, if you buy a vehicle and use it for the first half hour, I'm not sure about leasing. I think just buying, isn't it? First half hour of use and take it back, you'll get full price back for it. I didn't have enough money to buy this, so I've leased it. But that said, my greenhouses are making me money, so the money it cost me to lease that in an hour, that money will come back. Or has already come back. Has already come back. So we haven't got to worry. Um, this is slipping around a little bit, but if I follow the tracks of the previous vehicle, we should be fine. Um, we have sorted out the Christmas tree. I will show you that before the end of the episode. Um, that's all done. There are a couple of Christmas tree mods out at the moment. The newer Christmas tree mod with the presents around the bottom, although it had an update, for me, still broken, still not working. So I've used an older one. Uh, I can't remember who that was by. Um, but what I would also like to do at this point is thank Dan. Thank you very much, Dan. Um, he messaged me a little while ago suggesting what I could do for my kind of Christmassy episode. I kind of already had an idea in my head, um, but thank you, Dan. I really do appreciate that. Uh, and it's kind of moulded into what you're seeing at the moment. I just thought it might be nice to do something for somebody else. Um, we're not... This is not going to be a long episode. 
and, and because with seasons on and winter I could be doing air and fuel and runs now and you know all sorts of stuff like that absolutely um, but I might do some logging because obviously this time of year the lumber's worth more so we might do some logging in another episode but these are my Christmas episodes there won't be an episode on Christmas Day or Boxing Day family time people uh, the Seal family Boxing Day barbecue I know a lot of American guys commented saying we don't really do Boxing Day and don't really you know it's just the day after Christmas Day there's all sorts of beliefs and reasons why it's called Boxing Day no one ever seems to know for certain but right what I need to do here then actually if I swing that round um, so that way, I put it around the other side that seems to come very slowly it's because I was pressing the wrong way right put it that side that's going to help with my tractor pulling out the other way if I turn it on drop it down and if you do unload here that's where I was going wrong unload here would we'll unload it so what we've got to do now is head up that rather steep hill clear a path lead a, lead a way for others to follow so to speak let's clear this out now I can oh, is it one R1 and I can take that up a little bit don't want to go too far but actually I might push it a little bit further away from where we are that's a little bit better isn't it there we go so it is working operator error and I think I needed something with a bit more oomph. My 190 horsepower tractor at the moment just didn't have what it took. Especially for the, the snow plough, it just needed a bit more oomph. We're going up here alright, I think. For all those people that commented on yesterday's video asking what <laughs> what was that noise in the background, um, I forgot to edit that out. I did pause when it happened and then completely forgot to edit it. That was my wife laughing because she was on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> it was very loud and I heard it and stopped and thought oh no so I thought don't worry I'll come back and I'll edit that out um, and I didn't I completely forgot but you know there's nothing wrong with people being happy is there let's be honest so this is going to help because we're going to bring some logs up to old man Leonard um, while I'm talking about that bearing in mind old man Leonard lives on his own that kind of thing I know it seems a bit cheesy and I know it seems a little bit kind of preachy and that kind of thing but I just want to point out, I just want to mention something, I think I do it every year really just spare a thought spare a thought for all those people out there that are one, are on their own at Christmas um, if you know someone's on their own, pop in and see them just for a half hour, go have a cup of tea, cup of coffee take them some biscuits, whatever you know, because it can be a horrible time it's not nice to be on your own at any time but being on your own at Christmas can be, you know kind of demoralising and kind of horrible so if you do know someone, just pop in it hasn't got to be an entire day or anything like that pop in and say hello and also spare a thought for anyone that work in any kind of services, emergency services, fire brigade, ambulance service, police force, armed services, people that are being po that are posted overseas at the moment, people that are um, at home but are working over Christmas. There are plenty of people that are working in any kind of service industry as well. You know, we're in that situation these days, especially in the UK, I don't know about other parts of the world. Where shops open on Boxing Day now, the day after Christmas for sales, um, I know some of my daughters are working today uh, I know my brother uh, works he either has Christmas Day or New Year off he never has both so he'll be working you know so for anyone that's working Christmas um, thank you for what you do you know for people that don't work at Christmas we're lucky we're the lucky ones you know um, when I worked for the post when I worked for Royal Mail I did you know I worked normally Boxing Day night I would have to go in I'm going the right way I know there's no problem with the snow on you can't work out where the track is um, so yeah you know just just spare a thought for those guys you know people that are working and are doing what they do you know they do what they do so we can do what we do and that's what's fantastic about it so just spare a thought you know ah oh, he's got his tree up look what I will do at this point let's just turn that off and we'll swing it round the other way because I don't want to put snow all over the tree turn it back on again that should see us alright I think right turn it off lift it up pipe in Oh, look at that. How festive is that? Love it. 
So what we'll do now, we'll get the logs up. I could have just put the log trailer on the back of this actually and just pulled up at the same time. I, I... Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind, it's all good, isn't it? I might keep up with this for a little bit. <laughs> considering it cost me like 20 grand to lease it um, and I'm only, I've literally just used it for this I suppose what I could do is use it over at the main yards, the farm that we kind of own but don't own yet exactly I could go and clear some snow over there but I'll do that off screen, I'm not going to do that now what I can do though, I think we own a bit more land here Clear a bit more out here on our way out. Fantastic. But we're, we are going to reach a point where we don't own the land, and I think it will probably stop, but until that point. That'll be it. Okay then, let's do this. It was actually uh, <coughs> a rather interesting forethought on my part. Normally I wouldn't have thought ahead and I would have put the snowbank the wrong side and would have had to then drive over it and round it and made a real mess of it. This is going to make life a lot easier, isn't it? I do like the fact that with this new, with snow and seasons, I don't know how modders do it. I, that looks like that salty kind of on the tyres. It doesn't look like the normal mud texture. It's brilliant. Oh, this is steep. This really would have struggled through that snow, knowing what it was like going across the flat, and I was still slipping and stuff, so... We've done a good thing. Have I mentioned it's Christmas Eve? Wow! My daughter, my eldest daughter's in the kitchen. She's baking, cooking, she's making desserts and stuff for Christmas Day and Boxing Day. It's a bit of a whiz in the kitchen. Not so much of a wizard tidying up after she's done the cooking, but she's all right, yeah. <laughs> so what we'll do, we'll put a few logs into the uh, cabin for him. Actually, we'll put them under, I was going to say we'll put them in his, his shed, but that's probably not the best idea, is it? Because he needs to be able to get access to them. Well, it's got quite a good, good log pile there, but it doesn't hurt to have some more, does it? Let's undo all those. Actually, turn the engine off. Let's grab a couple out. Other thing as well, lots of people commented yesterday. I know, I know we can rotate stuff. I just thought it'd be easy just to throw them in. Can you hear music? Music on the air. It's the Christmas tree mod. It plays music. You have to be careful when you're doing YouTube videos though, because you... <laughs> You get demonetized if you use someone else's music. Mm, I don't know. I'll see if I can find some. If some, if there's some music on here, it will be because I found some on the uh, YouTube site that I can use. Oh man, I like doing Christmas episodes. I don't know why. It's um, you know, it's more narrative based than farming based. But we are doing stuff with tractors and you know, 
we're using seasons all the stuff that's out and it's new and it all seems to be working which is fantastic oh just smash a log into his car that's going to help isn't it If you didn't watch my Easter egg video, <coughs> and I know most people watching probably did because you know you're all fantastic like that, but if you didn't, if you didn't watch my Easter egg video, oh no, and you're not sure, here's a bit of a Christmas present for you. If you didn't know, this barn here up at Old Man Leonard's, if you open this barn up and you go to this back corner here, if you press circle in this back corner here, it removes all the hedges. This is where you remove hedges from. So if you didn't know, I know I had someone comment saying they didn't want to sit for an entire video to find out. That's the point of an Easter egg video. But anyway, um, yeah, so a little Christmas present for you. If you didn't watch that video and you're not sure, come up here into this corner, press circle. You'll, get, you'll hear a chainsaw sound and all the hedges on the map will be removed. Merry Christmas. <laughs> uh, right, let's get a couple more of these done. And then we'll uh, we'll head back down. Like I say, it's not going to be a very long episode. I've, I've got to go down and we need to clear the owl yard. Show you our Christmas tree. Oh, okay, that was lucky. I didn't mean to throw that, but... I mean, to be fair, it looks just like that one. But it's kind of festive, so that's the main thing. can always cut some more down good thing about this is um, this can sit under cover here while his season logs there he can come out and get those and use those these can be seasoning drying out very nicely ready to be used let's grab a half log can buck that up maybe a little bit further Right, I think that'll do. Just keep going for a little while. We can always pop back up and bring some more, can't we? We'll, we'll put them all on. Just to be on the safe side. We don't want anything flying out, do we? Hurting passers-by. Is there not one there? Cool. You know what? I'm going to nip in for a cup of tea. I'll see you in a minute. You know what? I don't know what it is about today. As if it couldn't get any more perfect. I'm grinning like an idiot sitting here. I don't know why. Fantastic. Snow's falling. Which means I'm probably going to have to come right back out again with the snow plow. <laughs> oh, the snow blower. Let's get back before this path covers up. Oh, fantastic. Try to work out. Should I turn around? Or just try and back it up. Those off. Lights back on. So, on my drive back over, there's a lovely cup of tea, Vol Band Leonard. Cup of tea and a mince pie. Lovely. Um, I just want to thank everyone for the last year. I know it's not New Year yet, but the last year has been crazy on my channel it's been mad with all the farming simulator league stuff which i never ever thought i'd get a chance to do traveling around doing stuff with giants um 
all the support from you guys out there, all the people that comment regularly, all the people that offer advice and help and um, you know, there are just too many to mention. Honestly, I want to thank Jim for this map. I want to think, thank Jim. I know I thanked him when the map came out and everyone goes, oh, you go so gushy. He's my friend and this is his map and I've, I'm using it at the moment for this Let's Play. I'm using it at the moment for my test map. Um, thank you. Um, all the guys I mentioned when I did my first videos and stuff on here, you know who you all are. Um, yeah, it's just been a crazy year. I just want to wish everyone a really Merry Christmas. Have a fantastic time with your families. Enjoy. Eat, drink and be merry, I think is probably the best way to put it, isn't it? We're going to get back to the yard in a minute. Um, we'll have a look at our Christmas tree. The one that I cut down yesterday. Yeah. This is a nice way to round it all off, isn't it? The sun's starting to dip. It's only ten past two in the afternoon. But pretty much like it is here at here the UK at the moment. We haven't got rain at the moment. It's a little bit of uh, snow. We haven't got snow at the moment. It's a bit rainy. But we're fine in here at the moment. And I know it's, it's different places around the world. It'll be even worse or better or whatever. Um, that by about two, three in the afternoon, it's already getting dark. <laughs> we don't care have that much daylight. I know there are parts of the world that don't have any daylight this time of year. Um, I had a comment this morning, a message sent to me wishing me Merry Christmas from New York. So uh, thank you for writing that. It did say the message, the frozen north. <laughs> but um, yeah, all good. We're nearly back. Nearly there. I'm still struggling with this now. You know what's going to happen? It will click over the next hour and this will be blanketed again. Um, as far as seasons goes and geos go, I'm not running a geo on this map. This is the default seasons. Um, the geo that would work best probably on here is the Hampshire geo, um, because Sussex and Hampshire, they're not far apart county-wise. Um, so the Hampshire geo will probably be the best. Um, I've just got lucky with the snow. Um, the thing with seasons is you're not guaranteed anything. You might go a year, two, three years and not get any snow at all. And then you might, like this, I was really thinking I was going to have to use one of the Snowy Lands Geos to get a Christmassy episode. And as I was prepping everything, it just snowed. It just happened. I didn't, you know, trust the luck of the draw. So there we go. There's our tree. The tree we cut down yesterday. The tree is up. Looking wonderful. Merry Christmas. What I'm going to do is clear some of the snow in the yard. And then I think I'll go in, put my feet up and enjoy Christmas. Have a wonderful time. I hope you enjoyed it. It's not, I know it's a short episode, but it's Christmas Eve. I've got stuff to do. We've got family things to sort out. Um, so have a great time. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. If you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, as always, thanks for watching.